telling Sarah, like, girl, can we link up with them after school? Like, I want to see Antoine. Like, I want to see Antoine. Sarah basically telling me, like, girl, you keep saying you want to see him. But then when I bring you over there, like, you're not saying nothing. You just be sitting there looking dumb. Like, this is so humiliating. Just be smiling for no reason. <laughs> Cheers. The motherfucking tea. All right, so let me tell you the tea, right? Spill the tea. What the? Spill the tea, sis. Hey, beauties. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're not new here, hey, girl. Hey, how you doing? How you been? Where you from? Where you at? So if y'all made it to this video, y'all, this is the last video. Hold up. Wait a minute. This is the fifth day, okay, of the week of story times. I know y'all was rooting against me. Y'all was like, she ain't gonna do it. She ain't gonna make it happen. She gonna play game. Y'all, I stuck with it. I did it. I did it for my beauties. Feel me? Yeah. That's my mother. Your fave could never. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I try to give y'all a little look for the little last day so we could just like end this off with a little bang. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, this is just a little look, you know. Can't wait till the video's over so I can rip this off. On myself. On my on myself. On my life. Like, but yeah, let's get into the story time because I know y'all waiting. So, y'all, this story time takes place in my youngin' days, okay? So, I told y'all I was real rebellious, you know, when I was a child. And one of the people that I was real rebellious with was my sister, my fake sister, Sarah, okay? Y'all know Sarah already. I introduced Sarah many, many story times. The sister that stayed with me, the sister that stole from me. Lord Jesus. The sister that ride or die for me. The sister that did all that, okay? She did all that and more. So this is before Sarah stole from me and all of that. This was when we was going to Xenia and said we was cutting school like on a regular, you know what I'm saying? So boom, y'all, we had cut school one day, right? And we had met up with these people. Now, if y'all watched the old story time where I was telling y'all that they pulled my friend wig off her head. Oh. That's crazy. I was talking about Vanessa when they put Vanessa wig off her head. Yeah, we had linked up with these dudes, right? And like, of course, they wasn't our age. I think they was like two, three years older than us or whatever. So we was 14. They probably was like, what, 17, 18, 19? Yeah, they was like that, right? In the group, like, the boys not important. They not even important. I just had to bring that story time up so y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. One of the times we cut school, this is when we first, first met these boys. So it was a group of boys, y'all. They used to be on a corn course and all of that stuff like that and we used to go skip school and we used to be over there because Sarah she low-key lived over there now this is two different skipping schools okay this is the seventh grade when we were skipping school this ain't the eighth grade now in the seventh grade when we were skipping school Sarah had lived on a concourse okay in the eighth grade when we were skipping school Sarah had then moved to the Boston Road area okay so this went on for you know yeah do the math but yeah so this is how we had met them boys y'all so when we had met them boys i wasn't really attracted to none of them boys like that for real for real because they was given like they just wanted you know to do stuff with us you know what i'm saying like they just wanted us to get down and get dirty you know what i'm saying and at the time i wasn't even giving that but i would go around and i would say that i was giving stuff like that i was giving it what i just made it sound so crazy so let, let me just clear it up so for example if Vanessa was out there saying like, yeah, she wasn't a virgin, she was doing this, that, and a third, I would follow Vanessa and I would say I was doing the same thing. Why? But then it was time to do the things. Vanessa would actually go through with it and do it. And I would just be sitting there and the boys would be looking at me like, I thought you said you wasn't a virgin. I thought you said you do this. I was lying. I was trying to get brownie points. Dumb. You are really dumb. For real. And now you're trying to call my bluff. So yeah, I was always looking dumb, right? So I didn't really like hanging out with Vanessa like that because Vanessa, you always got to prove some shit or do some shit. Like, she was just the thottiest of the thot thots. <laughs> so Sarah, I kind of, I love Sarah. You know what I'm saying? Like Sarah, she, she kept her little virginity for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Sarah, she was the, she'll flirt with you all day, but is she pulling down them pants? No, she not. Is she opening up that throat? No, she not. Why would she say that? Like... So I love Sarah. Sarah was my type of girl. You know what I'm saying? So boom. When we had met the boys, it was these other two boys that was with the boys, but they wasn't really with them, if you get what I'm saying. So basically, we was all outside. We was at the store, whatever. All the boys went in. You know how 
boys know other boys from their block, like from their hood and stuff like that. I guess that was the situation that they knew the boys, but they wasn't chilling out with the boys. So it was two boys that we met that day as well, but they was not hanging out with us, okay? We got to give these boys a name. One of their names is going to be Ray, and one of their names is going to be... One of their names is going to be Antoine, okay? So, Ray and Antoine. So, we met Ray and Antoine that day. Y'all, instantly, I fell in love with Antoine. Like, Antoine was given. You could look at Antoine and you could tell that Antoine was not like these people. You could tell Antoine went to school. He did his homework. He, was, he looked like the smart kid, but also, like, a bad kid. Like, I don't know how you... Like, he looked like a... I, don't, I can't even explain. He looked like... A good kid, but just, you know, like, living in a hood, like, in a bad boy's body. Bro, what are you talking about, man? I don't know. Make it make sense, Charisma. I don't know, but that's the only, that's how I can explain Antoine. Like, he was just everything. Like, Antoine was just everything, y'all. I automatically fell in love with Antoine, okay? And I told Sarah that. So, when we left that day and everything was good, the next time we had cut school, y'all, we decided that we was going to go back to the concourse, but we wasn't going to go with the Ratchet Boys. We wasn't going to go with the boys that put my friend wig off. No, we wasn't going to go with them. We was going to go with Ray and Antoine, okay? So, boom. We pulled up over there one day. Everything cordial. Everything copacetic. These boys is cool as hell. We chilling outside the building. We smoking. We doing all that. Like, we chilling. They actually have good conversations. Feel me? Their conversation is good. Like, what's your goals? What you plan on doing? in five years who you plan on see when we was with the other boys the other boys conversation was like how many bodies you got how many things you saw already get the fuck ASAP did you ever do something with a boy like it was it was given like yeah nah we ain't with that but these boys they actually had real good conversation and I was just loving it you know what I'm saying I was like oh my god like Antoine like I, I liked Antoine a lot but I never told Antoine this I never told him I never told him I just told Sarah I will be fiending I'll be telling Sarah like oh my god we need to go over there and see Antoine and them like oh my god you're trying so hard I ain't gonna lie I made Sarah take one for the team and talk to Ray now now, Ray, he was a little older than us, but he 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 wasn't cute to me. He wasn't cute to me. And back then, it was all about the looks. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't all about it, but the looks, it was like 70%. He wasn't cute to me. Like, he had like this little bed thing growing in, and it was like rugged, and I didn't want Ray. But Antoine, yeah, 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 come on, come on. And Antoine knew he was fine. Them big, juicy, sexy lit. Oh, my God. And then he, I mean, since, since he used to say, he used to lick the lips after, and I used to be staring at like I used to be what I used to be hooked on them like so boom we go chill with them like I said we vibing we chilling everything good y'all we vibe so good to the point where after school we left we went home we changed our clothes we came back and started chilling with Antoine and them now when we started chilling with them Sarah bought her sister this time I think I mentioned her sister in the story time but she stole my phone I forgot what I named her sister but we could just name her um we could just name her Mama for right now because uh, she not really like really in the story for real like that. She only got a couple bars. So she brings her sister or whatever. It's like her fake sister, her god sister. You know what I'm saying? So earlier that day, me and Antoine, we didn't really like, we wasn't really like flirting like that like that because I didn't tell him I like him. I was, this was still when I was in my shy era. Like when I liked you, I would like hit you. Go sit down somewhere in the nurse mother corner like yeah that's what i was given when i was young oh my god i like him let me go punch him in the face this is so humiliating no charisma never gave that so that's the type i was given but he would always be telling me like calm down shorty it's never that deep <laughs> You do not gotta punch me because you like me. Like, just let me know. You know what I'm saying? We had came back that day and we had bought the sister. I noticed, like, the vibes was kind of off. Like, the vibes wasn't vibing how they was vibing before. Now, I told you, Ray was talking to my sister Sarah. But when the sister came over, it's like the sister was all on Anton. The sister was all on Ray. And I'm looking at the sister like, Really, nigga? So, which one did you used to talk to? And she told me she used to talk to both of them. 
Shut the fuck up. I'm like, damn, she gets down with it. She gets down with it. So Ray, he disappeared with the sister, and they went and did whatever it is that they did. Now, don't ask me what they did, because I don't know. I guess they do what, what people do. I don't know. But, yeah, her hair was messed up. The ponytail was definitely leaning to the side. So you already know she got them boots knocked back. <laughs> <laughs> she was a Ray, and I'm just looking at Sarah because I'm like, wait, but you talk to Ray. Like, I'm kind of confused. Ain't that your friend? Ain't that your friend? And Sarah tries to tell me, like, no, I don't really like him like that. Stop the cow. Nah, you was feeling some type of way. You definitely was feeling some type of way. You want milk in there? Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. I gotta go give my daughter some cereal. Okay, I'm back. So, yeah, I didn't quite understand what was going on with Mama and Ray. And then when she finished with Ray, she came downstairs and she kept trying to flirt with Antoine. And I'm looking at her like, what? And then I'm looking at Sarah like, what? Like... What is we doing? And then remember the boys that, that we was talking about that we had cut school the first time and they was there? The immature boy? Yeah. So when we was downstairs after she finished doing, after my mom finished doing whatever she did with Ray, she came downstairs, she tried to flirt with Antoine. Next thing you know, the building doors swing open, in comes the boys. Now, it annoyed the sh out of me because the boys, you can already tell what type of time they was on when they walked in. They had a bottle of licks. They was ready. Blunt's roll. They was ready. Like, you could tell, like, they really thought that we were some bops. Like, we was really finna, like, I don't know what they thought, but it definitely was not given. Because we definitely left. That night or whatever, Sarah and Mama winded up getting into it because Mama started drinking with the guys. Now, Mama was a little older than us. You know what I'm saying? She was at least, like, three, four years older than us. And we, like, 14, something like that. She, like, 17, 18. Like, she's, she's older than us. So, I'm like, okay, she drinking, she doing what she doing, but, y'all, she's starting to get loose. Like, she's starting to get loose. Now, she start popping it with the other guys. Now, she dancing on this guy. Like, girl, you having a party in the hallway by yourself. Make it make sense. Are you dumb? Sarah basically start telling Mama, like, you doing way too much. Like, you need to calm down. You're embarrassing us. You doing way too much. Now, at this point, Ray and Antoine, they start, like, backing off a little bit. They go on the outside of the building. Like, you could tell they was cool people with the boys. Boys, but they was not they people to chill with like they was not really chilling with them like that They was not on any type of time like so they just start easing back like oh now nah, we out like we good So you know Sarah and Mama they over here bickering back and forth I go outside the building and I start talking to Antoine I'm just asking him I'm like so you good like what's going on you know what I'm saying like why was Mama on y'all like that Like what's going on with the Mama situation I was trying to understand what was going on with the Mama situation before I try to shoot my shot because I know I want to Antoine. I want to Antoine real bad, y'all. I want to Antoine real bad. Antoine was the type of dude when we was all outside and some fine ass females would walk past. Antoine would be the only one not looking. That's suspicious. And y'all don't say oh because that's because he was no he wasn't he really was a respectable dude and you know I didn't attract a, a respectable dudes I attract the ones who beat on their mama spit on you punch you in the face Lord Jesus I attract those type I didn't attract the good college dudes because when I attract those I would push them away because I'd be like yeah I'm a damage you honey because I'm damaged goods I knew. Since I was 13 years old that I was damaged goods and nobody had even touched me yet. I was like, I'm damaged goods. You see the family I come from? Oh, no shame. Um. I really thought I would never be anything. I, I was never capable of being nothing because of where I came from. It was all a lie. And I was so wrong. So wrong. But yeah, back to the story. So Antoine basically telling me like, yeah, they both used to talk to my mom. Him and Ray used to talk to my mom. Oh, that's good for you, baby. Like, basically, they didn't even know she was get down like that, that she was a whore. They found out different times, frames, that they was talking to the same girl, all types of stuff. So then when they found out, the girl basically was loose, and Antoine, he didn't want nothing to do with her. So once he made that clear, I was just like, oh, okay, I just needed to know. Like, I just needed to know. Mama and Sarah, they inside the building with the other boys. And they, I guess they still talking. So Sarah come out the building. I'm like, where's my mind? Because I'm looking like, why would you leave her there alone? So Sarah just start going off like, no, she want to be a hoe, let her be a hoe. I'm done. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. Everywhere we go, she embarrasses me like this. She don't, she don't know how to keep her legs up. She don't know how to do this. She don't know how to do that. I almost called the cops. 
<laughs> so my mom comes out the building, she starts talking crazy, like, oh, I'm grown, you can't tell me what to do, I'm older than y'all, I can do what I want to do, like, you tripping, girl, like, let me do what I want, like, she fake tumbling a little bit, I'm grown, boo, like, don't tell me, like, you're not finna, like, go and shut up, I wanna suck a dick, I can suck a dick, like, what? It's too much tea, bitch, for me, I'm like, oh, you wildin', like, so we all looking at her, like, yeah, we often so that night, y'all, we decided that we was all gonna go out with separate ways. The boys came out the building, they kept following us, they kept trying to talk to us, and I kept trying to tell them, like, I'm not on what Vanessa was on. We not on what they was on. Like, we not, nah, we not doing none of that. I'm not attracted to none of y'all. Y'all all whack, y'all lame, y'all pull my friend's wig off, y'all try to be real cute, real funny. Nah, I'm not messing with y'all. Like, I'm good on y'all. Y'all need help. So we leave that night, we part ways, we walking home, I told y'all, at this time, Sarah lived on the concourse, her cousin was going to her house with her, so Sarah and her cousin starts arguing on the way to the house, and she basically starts telling her cousin, like, not her cousin, her, um, her god sister, she starts, Sarah starts telling my mom, like, basically, like, girl, you're not sitting there in my house, you did too much, you need to go home, like, I don't even know why I hang out with you, you be doing too much, you always embarrassing people, you got everybody thinking we a hoe, cause you wanna be a hoe, and the girl was just laughing, she was like, girl, I'm grown as hell, I could do whatever I wanna do when I wanna do it. Sarah was telling her, like, but you're not even grown, like, you just turned 18, like, girl, you need to stop, you already popping that cat, like, they just going back and forth, I'm like, whatever, I'm annoyed, I'm going home, I, I walked off, I said, bye, I'm going home, so I left. Couple days after that, y'all, of course, me and Sarah went to school together, so we see each other all the time I basically told her like listen anytime we chill with them I don't want your sister around like your sister do too much I don't know what she was on I'm asking her about the Ray situation like why would you let her get down with Ray why would you let her do this and she like oh she always do that like I'm used to it by now I'm used to her taking my boyfriends like Duh. You know, she don't never let me have nobody because she be going through the whole block. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. I'm just looking at her like, girl, that's not cute. But you know what? She can do whatever she want to do by each own. If she want to hoe, she can hoe. But I'm telling you, she touched Antoine. What you going to do? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I'm fighting her. Girl, you're delusional. Because, like, Ant nobody could have told me nothing. Antoine was the love of my life. It still is, okay? Stop the cap. <laughs> Telling Sarah, like, girl, can we link up with them after school? Like, I want to see Antoine. Like, I want to see Antoine. Sarah basically telling me, like, girl, you keep saying you want to see him, but then when I bring you over there, like, you're not saying nothing. You just be sitting there looking dumb. Like, this is so humiliating. Just be smiling for no reason. <laughs> I'm the type of female that if I like somebody and I'm in their area, I would keep smiling. Like, you would catch me, like, dazing off and just smiling mad big. And then the person, people would be like, well, why are you smiling? What are you, you smiling at yourself? You good? No, I'm thinking of something. I'm thinking of us walking down the aisle. Baby, you're crazy! I'm mad delusional. Like, ah! When I like somebody, y'all, I'm mad delusional. That's why I try my best not to like people. Because when I like somebody, oh, baby, we already married. We walked down an aisle. We have kids. I met your mom. Fuck no. We don't got to talk no more. Like, give me the password to the phone, Marcus. Because <laughs> me and you together. That's how I'm feeling. So I be like, oh, my God, I don't like to like people. But I, Antoine, that was my husband. Okay? He was my husband. And I wasn't playing about Antoine. I smacked somebody for Antoine. Okay? Stop it. Get some help. So she's basically telling me, don't be shy. Just really talk to him. Like, he's a really good dude to talk to if you actually get to know him. Like, just talk to him. So that day we go over there, y'all. I'm just a smiling. I'm just like, oh, my God. Like, oh, my God. Like, oh, my God. Like, he come out. He got on his little jersey looking real good. I'm like, oh. So this day I wasn't I wasn't that shy, y'all. Uh, I wasn't that shy. Because you know why? Y'all, we went and we got us a full local. Oh. That's crazy. Y'all yeah, remember when Four Locos was popping, right? Yup. We went and got us a Four Loco. We went and got two ice cups. This was before we even got to them. We went and got two ice cups. Poured it half, half. Feel me? Act like it was juice. Walked all the way to the concourse with the Four Locos in the thing. Y'all, we was a little tipsy before when we got to them. So, you know, when, when you get tipsy, you yeah, the truth start coming out. And I didn't know that. I didn't know that until this night. 
So he goes over there, whatever. I'm a little tipsy. Like, he come out the building. He looking good. I swear to God, everything that was on my mind, I was saying it. And I was not trying to say it. I was really saying it in my head, but I didn't realize that it was really coming out of my mouth, too. Like, I was saying what I was saying. So I'm like, oh, my God. I didn't even know that. I was like, oh, my God. Girl, I was drunk as hell. I was telling him every way I felt. I'm like, I really like you. Like, you look good as hell. Like, what you do? Like, what you what you got going on? So you got a girlfriend? Like, what you got going on? So he just kept smiling and blushing. He was just like, I was waiting for you to say that. And I'm like, what you mean waiting for me? He was like, I was waiting for you to say that because I like you too. And I'm like, ah, we married. <laughs> so I go run over to Sarah. I'm like, oh, Sarah, we yeah, married. Sarah like, bitch, calm down. We only 14. Clock that T. Clock that T. Clock it. Clock that T. Bitch, relax. You're not married. Calm down. Like, what are you doing? Like, what are you talking about? I'm like, bitch, I'm married. Bad delusional. Already delusional. I get to my aim, y'all, and I put on my away message that I'm married. Do not hit me up. I remember putting this on my aim. I remember putting this on my away message because at this time, y'all, I dated a girl, okay? I dated a girl, and the girl hit me up. I remember she kept hitting me up, and she kept saying, Bitch, don't play with me. Wherever you at, I'm going to find you. Like, you got me effed up. Like, you better not be playing with me, da 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 Mind you, she was cheating on me with mad people. Like, is she dumb? That was the story time the girlfriend tried to play me, the, the bad girlfriend experience. Yeah, she was cheating with mad people. So I'm sitting over here like, Bitch, I'm married now. You can't talk to me, honey. <laughs> like I'm married Like you don't even exist Like I'm really in the Lulu world Y'all I'm really in the Lulu world So I'm like yeah If <laughs> me and this boy God forbid we ever do something together Oh baby it's over Th This is my soulmate at this point Because it I'm already feeling this way and we ain't even touch. We didn't even touch fingers. So imagine when we hold hands. Oh, baby, yeah. Come here. You're my husband. Like, what? Come on. Come on, Kirk. Come on, Kirk. What? I'm thinking it's a joke. Yeah, let's go. That night was ordinary, y'all. We vibed. We had a good time. Eight o'clock came. You know, curfew because, you know, we, we still young. Who raised you? We went home or whatever. Everything was good. Everything was copacetic. So now at this time, y'all, now we got each other on aim. This is when MySpace was popping. Facebook had just, just, just came out. Okay? It wasn't even a thing yet. It just came out. When you couldn't even post the videos, remember you could only post the, the writing at first? Yeah. That's when that little, um, that white dude was on there smiling, like on everybody's picture or whatever but anyway of course we exchanged social medias and we started talking on our own and y'all this is when we started linking on our own because at this point sarah she got to the point where she didn't want to link with us no more because she always felt like the third will because she didn't want to talk to ray anymore and she didn't want to talk to ray anymore because ray was sleeping with her sister and she was not getting down like that so she was feeling out of place and she was like damn i don't want to come over all the time while y'all together and didn't make me feel like i'm a third will and then I be butting in a conversation. And then I'm like, yeah, it kind of makes sense. So after a while, I stopped get, being scared. I was like, okay, I could go over there and I could link with him on my own. So, y'all, sometimes when Sarah wouldn't go with me, I would hit up my friend. Now, y'all know that building I told y'all about? Me and my neighbors, we was brawling. We called each other fake cousins. We went to the same school and everything. Like, my fake cousin and stuff like that. I forgot what I named her. But, yeah, I would go get her because she lived by the concourse, too. So, I would go get her and she knew the boys as well. So I would go get her. I'm like, friend, come on me to see my boot thing. He want me to pull up on him. Call me to see my boot thing. Like, yeah, you know, summertime was coming too, so it was lit. It was going to be mad lit. I was going to be up there all the time. Yeah, so I'm like, yo, my boot just hit me up. He want me to pull up, pull up with me. So she like, all right, cool. I'm going to pull up. So I get my friend to pull up with me or whatever. She pulls up. She like, oh, you, you took my aunt's I'm like, please don't tell me she has ants on. Please don't tell me she has ants on. <laughs> please. I'm praying. She like, girl, Antoine is the bro. He mad cool. Yo, Antoine, where your brother Ray at? Like, cause you know, Antoine and Ray called each other bros, but they wasn't really brothers. You know what I'm saying? So the my fake cousin or whatever, she started asking Antoine, like, oh, where Ray at? Where Ray at? Like, what's up with Ray? So I'm like, girl, you used to mess with Ray. She like, yeah, you used to mess with Ray. I'm like, that's crazy because my sister Sarah messed with Ray, and then her friend, well, her god sister was messing. You know, like everybody messed with Ray. It's crazy. How all these girls keep coming out saying they mess with Ray, but nobody mess with Antoine. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, cause that's my husband. You're delusional. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. 
So we was chilling or whatever. Every every we, we was having a good time. We was having a great time. Antoine asked me, he was like, Are you scared of me or something? And I'm like, What you mean? Am I scared of you? He like, because every time I ask you to link me, you always bring somebody. Like, do you think I'ma do something to you? You think I'ma touch you? Like, I don't have to have SCX with you, girl. I don't have to do that with you. Like, you know, we, we are building something here, right? We're getting to know each other. We're building a friendship. We're building a bond. You know, this could lead into something better. Mind you, y'all, this is before the kids. This is before Troy. This is before all my crazy problems, for real, with the boys. This is before all of that, y'all. This is before all of that happened. This is before all the ratchetness, all the crazy fights and stuff. This was, uh, this was like my last piece of my innocence, if you, if you ask me. This is like, like my last piece of my innocence. So I don't know y'all something about that night was just totally different like he just opened up to me about so much and then I just opened up to him about so much and then we started talking about goals and what we want to be and all this and all that and I'm just looking at him and he's like I really see you in my future like you're not one of them and I'm like I'm not one of them girl one thing about it don't make me feel special because I will what I will eat it up all day like what I'm not so, yeah, like, I don't know, y'all. After that, the conversations got, like, so good. Like, they got so super good. We would always talk. We would always link. Then he started coming to me, linking me. Then he started going out on little dates. You know, it always start when you were a kid. It always start with the little dates. It start with the little McDonald's. Meet me at Burger King, bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Meet me over there. You know, nothing too fancy. Nothing too fancy. Meet me at the pizza shop, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Dates like that. That was our age range, you know? All of this time going past, me and this boy is messing around with each other. All of this time going past, and I'm just loving it. And I'm just eating it all up, y'all. The school year passed. Next thing you know, summer rolling. I'm with this boy, like, every single day in the summertime. I'm at his hips, like... I done met the mama now. Now I'm going in the house. See, before you could just chill outside of the building. Now I'm in the house. Oh, friends not allowed in the house, but I'm allowed in the house? I'm special. Like, oh, this is my man man. <laughs> okay, this is my man man. Oh, cool. Yeah, 14 done passed, 15, 16. Like, man man, you know what I'm saying? So, y'all, I'm not going to lie. Once I met the moms and I was allowed in the crib and all of that extra stuff, I remember one night I had spent the night. No. No. Mm -mm. And it was like the best night of my life because even though I was in a relationship with a female and I'm like, no, I'm a lesbian. Like, I only been with one boy at this point. At this point now, I'm telling y'all, I only been with the one boy. And remember, I didn't like the experience. I told y'all about that. But I didn't like the experience. It was like, it was too rough. It was like, what is this? It's dry. Like, what? <laughs> it's a desert. Oh, my soul. Now, I like, I, I like the girls because they get the sticky, sticky, the licky, licky, and the, you know, I don't got to do too much with the girls. But, like, the guys, like, mm-mm, you got to do too much. So like I'm not gonna lie, like homeboy, homeboy put it down on me. Homeboy put it down on me, and I was looking at life different ever since. Like literally, I got butterflies. I thought he hit me. <laughs> I was in their bed like it's the first time I had ever got some. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? What y'all think I mean by that? No, this is the first time I ever got the licky, licky, sticky, sticky. Because remember, I was just with the girl. So I didn't get that yet because I was still shy. I didn't know how to, you know, do it. You know, I didn't know how to, you know, get comfortable with it. But, like, with Antoine, I was comfortable with so much. I was comfortable with him. Take it off, babe. Take all the clothes off here. Take it. Have it. You can have it. You can do what you want. And, y'all, don't ask me where my parents was in this story time because I don't know or give a fuck. You're a dummy, bitch. You see what I was doing. I was with my husband. I don't care. Don't know. But yeah, I'm just having a good time. Everything cordial, y'all. We got down, okay? Juju, get out my room. Juju, I'm trying to record. Get out my room. Okay, thank All you. Right. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Like, I was in love that night, y'all. I was deeply, madly, insanely in love all of that and like yeah but like yeah so that went on y'all we only did it twice 
Okay, I remember we only did it twice, and one of the times we didn't even do it. He just, you know, ate the ate the ate the trial. Okay, he just ate. The I was like, yeah, I'm in love. This is my husband. Nobody else can tell me nothing about him. So again, that summer roll past. We still linking up with each other. Y'all, the winter come around. Now it's time for me to link up. It's me. Sarah and a sister once again. This is a whole new year, y'all. At this point, this is my husband, okay? This is my husband. Am I claiming him and stuff like on social media and stuff into the world? No. But in my head, this is my husband, okay? So we go over there or whatever, y'all. And y'all, I was real upset because like my mom, she was a little bit too close to Antoine. And I didn't like it. And I ain't, I ain't like the fact that he wasn't telling her to get the fuck off. Like he wasn't telling her to move. Like he was, he was telling her like oh you wildin' like shit nah that, that ain't enough kick her on my soul on my on my soul on my life like kick her off you punch her so like yeah I, I definitely try to fight that girl that night I ain't gonna lie because I was like hold on bitch it's my husband like you dumb like he just put his mouth on me bitch just this we already walked down the aisle we got eight kids Shut the fuck up. Like, don't play with Antoine like that. Don't play. I'm about to go get this nigga name tatted next week. Like, you're dumb as shit. Yo, when I tell you I was mad delusional, I'm dead serious. I'm about to get his name, nigga, name tatted. Like, next week, you're doing too much. Like, you're, you're tripping. Like, you're tripping. So, this day, we chilling up with them or whatever. I had to check my mind a couple of times, but it wasn't nothing like that. So, out of nowhere, y'all, my friend pulls up. Now, I told you about my first friend that had came, the, the, my fake cousin or whatever. She pulls up, y'all, and she pulls up with some of her friends. Okay? Now, her friends, I wasn't friends with her friends. You know what I'm saying? I was just friends with her. So she pulls up with her friends, and I'm just noticing this one girl, she just on Antoine a little bit too hard. No, I'm not doing this. So I'm like, who the fuck is this girl? So my fake cousin telling me, like, oh, that's my friend. Like, she messed with him. Huh? Because in the summertime, you were just up here with me. And you didn't tell me that your friend was messing with him. And you just let me mess with him. And now you're telling me that your friend messed with him. And that's weird because that's already my husband. We already signed the papers and everything. Like, what are you talking about? Yes. Yeah, but that's to keep interrupting me. Where the hell was I? Oh, yeah, this girl bought her friends up there. And then come to find out one of her friends had messed with Antoine. And it made me mad because I'm like, Antoine is my husband. Like, why would you not even tell me? And, like, Antoine, he was just sitting there trying to, like, be cool. Because he wasn't saying nothing. Like, he was acting like he didn't mess with the girl. Like, he only messed with me. But you could tell what it was. But Antoine was that type of person. So, it was weird to actually see him, like, around both of us. Because he was just looking like, damn, like. I cannot make the wrong move. So, like, he kept trying to call me over there. Yeah, this, it was just weird. The vibes was just mad weird, y'all. So, like, I left. I left. I did not go back over there. I was like, I'm done. I'm done. I went to the court, filed for divorce. We done. <laughs> we done. Good thing you signed the prenup because you're not getting none of my like, year. I was mad dramatic. Like, I went through all of that. I went home, cried on the pillow. I did all of that because, like, truthfully, like, this is my soulmate. Like, this person was my husband like you know what I'm saying this was like the first person I, I ever really 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 fell in love with like the lips on this man like he oh my god why was his lips like that I'm just sitting here thinking why was his lips like that they was only made for one person that's me why was his lips like that I'm just sitting here reminiscing why was his lips like that it just saddens me that I would never get to fill them lips. But yeah, anyway, back to the story. So, y'all, after that, I went home. Like I told y'all, I cried my eyes out, all that. I told myself I was not going to talk to him, y'all. We, we, we kept talking, like, on and off for the next couple of years that passed. But then when I had kids and met Troy and everything else, and then he started going to college and graduating and started chefing and working here working there doing this like he was really doing his big one feel me so he had reached back out to me on facebook this was like a few days later after the kids and all of that so he had reached out to me on facebook this when i was still living in the bronx in new york 
So when I seen the message, y'all, I'm not gonna lie, like my heart kind of skipped the beat because I'm like, damn, like I remember Antoine when I was young, way before the kids, you know, when I was still innocent a little bit. But like now that we grown, like he probably could be on something totally different. And like honestly, I already felt like I was damaged and I was not trying to ruin him. Like, I already was lurking on his page. I already seen he had a lot of stuff going on. He had finished high school, graduated, went to college. He was doing his big one. So, I low-key didn't want to, like, you know, damage him or bring him into, like, a messed up situation. Because, like, I had kids. Like, basically, I had went the wrong route in life. Like, I did, did all the bad things that I can do. Like, had kids young, did everything. This boy, he didn't really do everything that I did. Like, he didn't have no kids. He wasn't going through none of that. He was in school, head on strong. His goals were focused on, like, his mother, his mother not play that. You know what I'm saying? When I met that lady, she did not play. So, I'm like, yeah, this is going to be kind of different, kind of awkward to, like, trying to mess with him, right? So, we older or whatever. He tells me one day, you know, like, we should just link up and have a talk. Like, it don't got to be serious. We just need to have a little talk, you know, catch up on life, da 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 da, -da. So, I agreed, y'all, because I'm like, yeah, maybe I could do this, y'all. At the time, me and Troy, we was, like, off and on. We was really, like, going through it. And, like, yeah, he was basically cheating. He was always cheating. He cheated the whole relationship. I can't pinpoint what time he didn't cheat. He had basically asked me to pull up, y'all, and I had pulled up, and I had left the kids with Troy. Yeah, you watch the kids while I go do what I need to do, because I watch the kids all the time by you doing what you need to do with my friends. So, yeah, he, he watched the kids or whatever. I pull up over there with Antoine. So, we standing outside. We having a talk. I'm basically talking to him. Y'all, Ray come out the building. Ray looking mad old in the face. I'm like, yo, Ray. I know that ain't you, Ray. I, Ray, Ray done turned into Ray Charles. Ray looks so damn old in the face. I said, Ray, Ray, come on now, Ray. Come on, Ray. You looking real old, Ray. What, what happened to you, Ray? I almost called the cops. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just talking to Antoine, whatever. And, yo, Antoine is just so mature. Like, you know, like, oh, my God. When I went over there, okay, so my first impressions, like, he came up out of there. His muscles was just ripping out the shirt. Because, you know, he stayed in the gym. His muscles was just ripping out the shirt. I'm like, woo females you know when you see that that man when you see the one and the thing down there start like the breathing and tingling and like mm, mm, it's like you squeezing it you know what i'm talking about if you're not a female you wouldn't know but yeah when they get the little heartbeat down there so i'm low-key getting a heartbeat so i'm like damn charisma no you can't do nothing because you know you had all these goddamn kids you fertile as hell like if he if he even touched you the wrong way you pregnant girl <laughs> Girl, don't even let him kiss you, girl. You're going to get pregnant. And I'm just over there looking at him, like, just mesmerized, like, you were supposed to be my husband. Like, I can't believe this. And he's sitting there talking to me. He like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm real mature about everything. You know what I'm saying? We both went our separate ways in life. But, you know, maybe we could rekindle what we lost. Because you was a real good person, you know? I know you told me you got kids and everything. You know, I don't got kids. I'm not on that. I'm not, you know, I don't, I don't do none of that right now. I'm focused more on school. But, you know, like, I feel like me and you, we could do something. Like, we could work something out. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe we could be together like this will probably work in the future for real because i'm a good dude and i'm just sitting here looking at him like everything coming out his mouth i'm not listening to nothing he's saying i'm literally just staring at his lips while he's talking i'm just like the <laughs> just drooling Cause I'm just like, oh my god, look at them lips. Like I remember the first time they was on me. Like, oh my, like I'm not even taking this conversation serious at this point. I'm like, baby, is, is what are we doing? Like, is we gonna toot it and boot it or what? Cause like you having a whole sermon. We don't even need to be doing all of that. Like I can't. Like the muscles and the lips uh, take me out. The haircut with the waves. Oh. Take me out, baby. Then you got the swags on. Like, oh, my God, he used to dress so good. 
Y'all, he used to dress so good. Long story short, all of that happened. That night, nothing happened. We didn't do anything. We just had a talk. We got a good understanding. We just we we said that we was gonna be friends and we was gonna talk it out and we was gonna try to see what we was gonna do moving forward, seeing if we would even align, even being in a relationship, because like I have children and i was just trying to explain to him like we told we two totally different people now like when we knew each other before we were teenagers like now we we like i'm we still teenagers i'm 18 19 i mean we still a teenager but i'm just saying like it, it's just not aligning like all of the decisions and the things that i made for my life i dropped out of school i dropped out like i'm not you know what i'm saying you doing your big one we just on the line i don't want to hold you back i don't want to damage you i'm damaged goods at this point i need a heal from a lot and i just don't want to bring you down with me but y'all antoine was trying to feel that antoine was trying to come down with me all right so let me tell you the tea right he was like no baby i'm coming down with you we're gonna be in the gutter together we're gonna be in the gutter together we're gonna be together girl because we're gonna be together so yeah so we make all these plans y'all we doing all of this so y'all he tells me he want to take me to dinner we gonna go on a little day and i'm like oh we gonna go on a day we gonna go on a real date this time y'all we was going to a restaurant this time y'all we wasn't gonna go to burger king like when we was a kid mcdonald's the pizza shop we wasn't gonna go there we was gonna go to a real restaurant so i was mad hype i'm like yes i get to make memories with my husband because low-key i was still in like delulu world i was like maybe i could just pretend that this will work but i know it's not gonna work it was giving cinderella like 12 o'clock i gotta go home and be a mom Clock that tea. We started talking on Facebook again, and now the conversations is real good, y'all. We planning stuff. We planning when we gonna link. He's asking me like, "Oh, I wanna meet the kids." I'm telling him, "Fuck no." Hold on, baby. It's too soon, baby. Uh uh, baby. Uh uh, uh uh. Yeah, that, you ain't meet my kids. Like, is you dumb? Then don't ever, don't ever ask about my kids. Then I don't know you like that. I don't know you like that. I knew the old you. I don't know the new you. Even though you still got the same lips, but I ain't know. <laughs> Because this is not gonna work. It's not gonna work. But I didn't want to think about it like that. I want to give it a chance. I want to give it a shot. I want to try something new. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, this is a good guy. I'm gonna I'm handle him as if he's fragile because he is. So we talking. And he's telling me he want to take me out. We planning on linking that day. We gonna link up. We gonna do this. We gonna do that. Y'all. Yeah. This man just ghosts me. Like, when I tell you this man ghosts me, y'all, I was in my feelings for, like, that whole week. I'm cursing Troy, y'all. I'm doing all that Troy, like, what's wrong with you? What y'all shirt panties in a bunch? Like, my husband just ghosted me. Like, is you dumb? Like, all of this time, I met back up with my husband from the childhood. My husband just ghosted me. Like, y'all was so mad at him. I was right here on Facebook. I'm like, I can't believe after all these years, you would reach back out to me. And then you would ghost me like that. Like, you know I was planning in my future. But you were like, oh, my God. Like, I told my kids that they got to do something. Oh, like, I was angry. <laughs> I was in the Lulu world, y'all. I was so angry. This was back in the day. You know what I'm saying? When we used to watch the news. When Channel 11 still used to come on. When we used to still watch everything on the TVs. Okay? I'm so mad at this boy. This boy didn't hit me back in like... It was like two, three days went by. And I'm angry. I'm super mad. I keep checking his page. I ain't see nothing. I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm angry. Y'all. The news come on. The news come on the TV, y'all. And that shit say that my future husband done got hit by a I know you fucking lying. It was from that day. It was from that day. It was from that very moment that I, I knew I was cursed. I knew I was cursed. I said, not me meeting my future husband. Not me meeting the best guy that I ever known to this day. Okay? I never met nobody like this. I, I still to this day have never ran into nobody so genuine and pure like Antoine, bro. That was my soulmate, bro. I love Antoine, bro. And you gonna tell me that some car hit him and he killed him? Is you crazy? So, y'all, I start breaking that. I start crying in front of the TV. Y'all, I'm crying in front of the TV. I'm boohooing in front of the TV so bad that the kids start boohooing with me. Troy come out the room. Troy, like, what, what's going on? Like, what are you crying for? I'm like, no, because I'm... So they saying it on the TV. So Troy, like, do you even know this person? Okay, people get hit by cars every day. Like, Keep talking, man. And you shut the fuck up. Huh? No, but you don't understand. It should have 
been you. <laughs> Why would she say that? It should have been you. He didn't understand. So y'all, I get mad. I'm like, no, I need to, I need to hit up somebody who know. So I'm blowing up Sarah for Sarah. Fuck that. I know you stole from me some years ago. We ain't really cool, but bitch, answer, please. I need to answer. So Sarah probably pick up. And I'm like, Sarah. They killed this one, they killed this one. She like, oh, they did. I'm like, man, they killed this one. Y'all, I'm mad. I'm calling everybody in my call line. They killed this one, they killed this one. I couldn't even make it to a real date with Antoine, y'all. I couldn't even put the grown-up coach on Antoine, y'all. 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 We couldn't even make it down to Al, y'all. Ever since he left me, you see the type of men I've been pulling in and stuck with? I've been with Omar L. I've been with King. Ah. No shade. Um. <laughs> like, what the hell? What? Not you kid. Y'all, a car ran over Antoine while he was, when he was leaving work, y'all. And they ran over my boyfriend. That wasn't my boyfriend, but he was my husband. That wasn't my husband. Stop it. Get some help. But he was my husband, and they killed him. And ever since then, I haven't been right. I've been like, uh-uh, I got bad luck. I have bad luck. I keep attracting these widows. I keep attracting these widows. Like, I need another Antoine in my life ASAP. No Rocky. Feel me? But yeah. That's basically the end of the story time. I just have to tell the story time so y'all can know that I'm bad luck. All the good dudes that I meet or want to be with, they either croak, die, or something. It's like, I can't, I don't know. I don't know, I got that leak. I got that <laughs> After that, y'all, I wound up seeing Ray a couple of times. Ray was destroyed, but then, you know, people just move on with life. Everybody moved on with life. They barely spoke about the dude. I always remember him. Like, every single time I just be looking at my phone and I be like, damn, this is crazy because Antoine was the number one person I would always unlock my phone just to write. I swear to God. And when they did that, I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe, like, that's the craziest, like, we literally about to go to dinner. We're about to go to dinner. I'm waiting for you to get off work. Go take a shower, freshen up. I'm going to meet you. We finna go to dinner, boo. And you're going to get hit by a car? <laughs> I was so mad at the car driver, whoever would drove the car and hit him. I wanted to find them and do them dirty. Because why would you ever kill my husband? At this point, I don't think I would ever make it down the hill. Because my husband is in somebody's casket. But yeah, that's really the end of the story. If y'all like the story time, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you follow all of my social medias. And up until then, 